Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rock and Connection with, with my first Magic the Gathering Corset 2019 unboxing video. Um, unlike the unboxing video series for uh, War of the Spark, this will not be over, over the next few days. This will be. Ooh, excuse me. But hopefully, it'll be. Uh, taken care of soon. Anyway, we're going to start off with the Spellslinger Starter Kit. This has got two we got two ready to play 60 card decks with quick start guides and a couple of spin down life counters. So, let's get into it, shall we? Oh, I don't make this shit easy to open. So, got our rule book, which will of course tell us how to play the game. Quick start guide for the white deck. Which basically just uses white cards in place of uh, the red ones. Or four. White cards in the deck for card pictures, and then same with the quick start guide for the red deck. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, boy. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the things I can only do once. <laughs> Can't start over. Alright, so let's take a look at the white deck first. Let's see if I can find the seam. There we go. Alrighty. So, okay, we've got a uh, just so you remember what what to do during your turn. All right. Somewhat a, little, a bit more organized. Pull out all the uh, basic lands. So we've got, of course, obvious as it's a white deck, a bunch of planes. That one, two, and, oh, yeah, four separate uh, designs. We got that one. That one, and or that one, and finally that one. Okay, so all right. So we've got uh, looking at the re the non plant the non uh, lands. We've got Safara Sky's Blade it's foil. So yay, shiny. And Safara, Sky's Blade, is a legendary angel. It's got a casting cost of four colorless and three white. Seven, seven. 
You may pay one white and tap four untapped creatures you control with flying, rather than pay this creature's mana cost. Okay, alright. That's kind of neat. It's still going to be a few turns in when you put when you cast her, but still, you know, they can get her out quicker. She's got flying and lifelink, and other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. Okay, that's good. That, that I like that. Of course, I'm also not all super hyper competitive magic player who you know if the you know if if the game lasts more than if if my deck can't finish end the game in four turns it, it's you know it should be scrapped so yeah next up we've got citywide bust it's a rare sorcery from uh guilds of ravnica costs one color colorless two white Destroy all creatures with toughness 4 or greater. Ooh, okay. I can see some use for that. Next we have Sarah's Guard... Oh, yeah. Citywide Bust. Next up we've got Sarah's Guardian. Sarah's Guardian is a 5-5 five, five, for 4 colorless and 2 white. She's an angel. Flying and vigilance, so she doesn't uh, tap, does not uh, tap when attacking. And other creatures you control have vigilance. Okay. Next up we have the Loxodon Life Chanter. It's bad boys that... A 4-6 Elephant Cleric for 5 colorless and 1 white. When it enters the battlefield, you may have your light toe become the total toughness of creatures you control. Okay. And for 5 colorless and 1 white. The Lost Sound Life Chain is plus X plus X, where X is your life total. Alright. Okay. That can be, uh... That can be useful. Well, how... I mean, usually, any, any, either way, you're automatically buffing it. But, yeah. Next up, we have the Angelic Guardian. So, 5-5 five, five, uh, Angel with Flying for 4 colorless and 2 white. And whenever one or more creatures you control attack, they get indestructible until the end of turn. Okay. Again, passing along indestructible. That's, and that's also a much more broader passing along. Up next we have the Inspiring Unicorn. This is from Guilds of Ravnica. And it's a 2-2 unicorn for 2 colorless and 2 white. I need to get a uniform man of doing this. Whenever, and whenever it attacks, creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. Okay. Next up is Trusted Pegasus. It's a 2-2 two, two flying Pegasus for 2 colorless and 2 white. I need to get it. And whenever it attacks, target attacking creature without flying gains gains flying on a turn. Okay, yeah, it actually uses a lot in uh, Arena, actually. We got another Inspiring uniform, Unicorn. We got Hazda Officer. Hazda Officer is a 3-2 human soldier for 2 colorless and 1 white. When it enters the battlefield, target creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Next up is the Concordia Pegasus. It's a 1-3 fly flying Pegasus for one colorless and one white. That's all it really does. Next up we have an instant Show of Valor. One colorless yeah, one colorless, one white for an instant. Target creature gets plus two, plus four until the end of turn. Okay. Follow that up with Righteous Blow. It's an instant for one white. From Guilds of Ravnica. Deals two damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Also, it should be noted. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All the previous ones are from M20, so yeah. Next up, we have the Prowling Caracal from which is one colorless, one white for a cat, for a three-one cat. There we go. Next up is the Bastion Enforcer. 
Bastion Enforcer is a 3-2 Dwarf Soldier for 2 colorless and 1 white. Another has the Officer, another Trusted Pegasus, another Righteous Blow, another Show of Valor. Okay, now we got Take Vengeance. It's a sorcery for one white, one colorless. Destroy ta target tapped creature. Our Bastion Enforcer, followed up by the Bond of Discipline from War of the Spark. Tap all creatures your opponents control. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Very useful. And we've got an intrusive pack beast. It's a 3 3 beast with vigilance for four colorless and one white. When it enters the battlefield, tap up to two target creatures your opponents control. Okay. We get another Take Vengeance, another Bond of Discipline. Dawning Angel. Dawning Angel is a 3 2 flyer for. for fly, flying Angel with four, for 4 colorless and 1 white. When it enters the battlefield, you gain 4 life. Well, that's always nice. Next up, we have Inspired Charge. It's an oldie but a goodie. Two colors, two white for an instant. Uh, creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. Okay. You get another Prowling Caracal. Another has the Officer, another Show of Valor, another Take Vengeance, another Dawning Angel. Now we've got Imperial Outrider. Imperial Outrider is a. 1-5 Human Knight for 3 colorless and 1 white. Another Bastion Enforcer, another Carrier Pegasus, and that is the white deck. Okay, so... Let's get a look at this... Red deck. Right off the bat, we got ourselves a dra at least one dragon. And, well, I do love me some dragons. But I'm also classically a red player. Let's pull the lands out right quick. Okay, there's the. And since this is red, all the land are going to be mountains. And we've got another uh, guide card showing the various phases. Okay. So let's take a look right quick at the four mountain types. Here's one. All the basic land types in Magic the ones that I prefer to see get see foils of the most are mountains. We got this one. Okay, this one is that's what I could probably pass a foil of. That first one though, oh man. I I I'm actually down to just try and track down the foil of that because it looks so damn good. We got this one. Now, let's look at the deck itself. Right off the bat, we've got Dracoseth, Maul of Flames. Yay, shiny dragon. Alright, so, Dracoseth, Maul of Flames. 
It's a 7-7 seven, seven legendary dragon with flying for 4 colorless and 3 red. When it attacks, it deals 4 damage to any target and 3 damage to each of up to 2 other targets. Whew. Ouch. That can, that can be painful. Next we have Leyline of Combustion. If it is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. Ooh, I like that. Whenever you and or at least one permanent you control becomes a target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, Leyline of Combustion deals two damage to that player. Okay, all right, I dig it. Next up, we have the Glint Horn Buccaneer. Glinthorn Buccaneer is a 2-4 Minotaur Pirate with haste for 1 colorless and 2 red. Whenever you discard a card, Glinthorn Buccaneer deals 1 damage to each opponent. 1 colorless, 1 red. Discard a card. Draw a card. Activate this ability only if Glinthorn Buccaneer is attacking. Okay. This would actually be very useful against a uh, black discard deck. He's like, oh, you made me discard. Take 2. And if you can, as it's not unique, well, as it's not legendary, or, oh, take one, okay. But you could potentially have four of them in play, four of them in play, and be like, oh, I have to discard, oh, you have to discard a card, okay, take four damage. So, yeah. Next up, we've got Immortal Phoenix. Immortal Phoenix is a 5-3 flying phoenix for 4 colorless and 2 red. And when it dies, it, it gets returned to its owner's hand. Quite as simple as that. Next up we've got the Sheevan Dragon. An oldie but a goodie. Always a classic. It's a 5-5 flying dragon with four, for 4 colorless and 2 red. You can spend 1 red to and it gets plus one, plus zero till end of turn. Next up we've got Act of Treason. Act of Treason is a sorcery for two colorless and one red. Gain control target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. Always a, a quite useful red card, to be perfectly honest. And one that I have made use of in Arena quite a bit. Next up, we've got Dagger Sail Aeronaut. Dagger Sail Aeronaut is a 3 2 goblin for 3 colorless and 1 red, and as long as it's your turn, it has flying. Eh, okay. Next up, Shock. Shock's a long standing. Uh, Instant, red instant, um, costs one colorless and deals two damage to any target. Honestly, I kind of, when it comes to uh, red it, instants that deal direct damage for one mana, I prefer Lightning Bolt. This is three damage. Next up is the Hellkite Whelp from Guilds of Ravnica. It's a 3-3 flying dragon for 4 colorless and two, 1 red. Whenever it attacks, it, it deals 1 damage to target creature defending player controls. Okay. Anything else from guilds? No, not yet. Next up we've got... Hmm. Excuse me. Goblin Smuggler. Goblin Smuggler here is a 2-2 two, two go Goblin Rogue with haste for two colorless and one red. Um, you can tap it, and another target creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn. Okay, alright. That could probably be... That might work better in my just red deck rather than my Goblin deck. Next up is Goblin Assailant. 
That's a 2 2 Goblin Warrior for one colorless and one red. You may have noticed there is some text out here, but it's not, it's not game text, it's just flavor text. What he lacks in patience, intelligence, empathy, lucidity, hygiene, ability to follow orders, self regard, and discernible skills, he makes up for in sheer chaotic violence. Honestly, I love some of the Goblin uh, flavor text. I still think that uh, the Raging Goblin ha had some of the best ever, though. Anyway, next up we've got Nimble Bird Sticker. Nimble Bird Sticker is a 2 3 Goblin with Reach for two colorless and one red. Uh, reach allows it to. Um, to block flying creatures with flying, and to be perfectly honest, this this will actually probably end up in my goblin deck, because uh, that's one of its downsides. We got ourselves another Hellkite Whelp, another Goblin Smuggler, another Shock. Okay, here we go. Sure Strike from Guilds of Ravnica. This is an instant for one colorless and one red. Target creature gets plus three, plus zero, and gains first strike until end of turn. Okay. Another Dagger Sail Aeronaut. Then we've got Infuriate. It's an instant for one red. Target creature gets plus three, plus two until end of turn. Okay. Follow that up with Engulfing Eruption. It's a sorcery for two colorless, two red. It deals five damage to target creature. Next up, we've got Fearless Halberdier. Which actually is for M20, but it initially appeared in the last wrapping block. I think in guilds. It's a 3 2 human warrior for two colorless and one red. I get just flavor text. I spent some time in the Legion, but I'm done taking orders all day. We got our Engulfing Eruption, another Sure Strike, another Nimble Bird Sticker. Okay, next up we've got ourselves a Hostile Minotaur. Hostile Minotaur is a 3 3 Minotaur with haste for 3 colorless and 1 red. Okay, not too shabby. Another Goblin Assailant. Uh, then we've got Tectonic Rift. It's a red sorcery for three colorless and one red. Destroy target land. Creatures without flying can't block this turn. Okay, all right. Got goblin assailant. Little goblin assailant. Fire elemental. Okay. It's three colorless, two red, for a five-four elemental. The uh, flavor text on it is, the best way to learn from a book on pyromancy is to burn it. It's a credit to Jaya Ballard. Next up we've got another Infuriate, another Engulfing Eruption, another Fearless Halberdier, another Hostile Minotaur, another Fearless Halberdier, another Goblin Assailant, and that is the deck. Alright, that's it for uh, this video. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal are in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.